The physics of gymnastics seems difficult. How can someone defy gravity like a gymnast does? Thanks to Sir Isaac Newton, the physics of gymnastics can easily be broken down. You can change your momentum of inertia and rotate faster or slower by changing your body position. Newton's second law states the acceleration of an object depends on the force acting on the object directly and the mass of the object inversely. As the force acting on the object increases, the speed of the object increases. This law of physics can be seen constantly in gymnastics. Now consider the gymnast's mass. The heavier the gymnast is, the more force is necessary to allow her to move, such as during a tumbling pass. How can Colleen change her rate of rotation without pushing off of something? She does this by changing the distance of her center of mass from the axis of rotation. The angular speed increases or decreases by changing the distance between the mass and axis of rotation. Gymnasts are often told to pop off the surface, using the shoulders to gain maximum spring from the surface. The gymnast's shoulders act like a spring, increasing the potential energy to initiate twists or flips. Newton's third law states for every action on an object, there is an equal and opposite reaction. One way this works in gymnastics is the way the balance beam supports the weight of the gymnast as she performs routines. The beam exerts a force equal to the gymnast, then after she dismounts the beam, she lands on a mat, which exerts an equal force on the gymnast. This keeps her from going through the mat. While landing on the mats, gymnasts bend their knees in order to increase the time it takes them to stop moving. Increasing the time decreases the impulse of the force the gymnast has when landing. If gymnasts did not bend their knees, force against their body would increase, resulting in injury. Newton's first law states that an object at rest stays at rest unless acted on by an outside force. When you see a gymnast rotating around the bars, their own momentum is the force that propels their body. The higher the g's or acceleration of gravity you have, the more strength it takes to hang onto the bar. When the bar bends, that's when the acceleration of gravity is greatest. When a gymnast reaches their highest point in their skill, kinetic energy will be at its lowest and potential energy at its highest, while gravity continues to pull on you until your feet reach the ground. The kinetic energy is transferred to potential energy upon compression of the springboard, where PE elastic equals 1 half K X squared. Gymnasts are taught to have a good punch off the springboard, thus increasing the displacement and increasing the potential energy. Your pain, you ready? Yeah, yeah. Main, let's lock and load. Yeah. Just play. Yeah. No, I'll turn me up. Hey, yeah, yeah. I think we got one. Yeah. Here we go. Tell me, what do you see? Yeah. When you're looking at me. Hey. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whole mission to be. Hey. What I'm destined to be. For each gymnast, the springboard is placed at a different distance from the vault based on their height, mass, and length of hurdle. Also, based on their mass, the number of springs used may increase or decrease. The run is about 25 meters long and it represents translational motion. The gymnast leaves the vault with an upward velocity. This is the initial velocity. Look 
Gravity is what pulls gymnasts back down to the ground. It takes power and force to work against gravity and get your bodies in the air. As a result of a gymnast's force, it will either cause you to slow down, speed up, or change direction. Impulse equals change in momentum of an object. Force will change velocity of an object, which will change momentum of the object. Picture you beating the odds Picture you willing to bleed Picture you wearing the scar Thank you for making me struggle Thank you for making me grind I perfected my hustle Tell me the world ain't mine You've been seeing me lately I'm a miracle baby I refuse to lose This was the ghetto that made me I put that on my father Trying to hope for tomorrow When I think that I can't I envision Obama I envision them diamonds I envision Ferraris If the world was perfect All my niggas Tell me what do you see when you're looking at me?